up guys welcome back to the channel uh welcome to kvtv we're going to be doing a quickie looky at this guy it's a nice little 22 millimeter atomizer flavor banger guy uh if you know that look you know what it is but i cannot say what the name is due to certain things that happen and i don't want to get any strikes so yeah um i'm gonna take you guys down below you guys take a quick look at it and see how the build deck is and all that kind of thing i'll build it up with you guys real quick then we'll come back up here talk some pros and cons and we're gonna wrap that guy up but first let's hit some advocacy do your part the only people that can advocate for you the best is yourself do try to hit up your representatives send them emails send them phone calls make the tweets make the phone calls make the letters email them whatever you can do possible you know we have so many avenues that we could reach our representatives and even like for states that aren't even our own we could actually try to make a difference within their states because i mean new york right now is under some kind of committee some or other and, you know massachusetts is fucked washington is fucked california is fucked uh, Michigan is fucked, and I know Montana has kind of gone down that route too, and I know Jersey's still considering things, so it's one of those things where I think they passed it, I don't even remember, there are so many things going on that it's hard to keep up with everything, but I try my best to keep up with everything, um, do try your best, because here's the thing, if it happens in this place, it'll happen here, look at what happened once they actually talked about flavor bands here in the u.s india went on a straight vape ban they were like screw it we're not playing we're gonna just get rid of it altogether now and that's one of those sad sad things that you see that people go into this wild panic over something they don't understand and then it gets thrown by the wayside and then once like the dust clears everybody realizes there was a mistake made and by that point it's too late in all reality Alrighty, so yeah um Hmm. 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 All right. So with all that being said, let's just get into the review. Uh, let's go on the top damn cam and I'll catch you guys back up here. All right, guys. So this is it right here. You can tell, you know, you know, the style of packaging by now. Have you seen my videos before? All right. So it comes with two Allen keys, one for your, um, negative positive post and then one for your 510 pin connector thingy comes with the extra baggie of goodies o-rings for the drip tip o-ring for the bottom this is the solid state pin what i have installed currently is the squonk pin then you got some extra grub screws for your contacts i guess yeah all right so we're gonna move all this out to the way then we have the piece de resistance. It's not too bad looking right here. There is the 510 pin. As you can tell, you can kind of see all the way through. All right. We'll say one just piece of advice before you get started when changing out the 510 pin um you see this one right here is not is attached to this piece right here let me see if i can get some some of my fat fingers aren't thin in the way all right so when you are changing out the pin this whole plate right here this whole piece will come out so do be aware if you have it like flipped upside down and you're unscrewing it, this will pop out. And when you're trying to screw it back in, you got to make sure you're holding this in place or else it'll woggle, it'll move, and it's really unpleasant. Alrighty, so uh, let's see. We got a coil right here. We'll say, depending on which way your leads are going, you have to make sure you get this guy in here. As you can tell, this is all a one piece up opposed to this one where it lets you kind of just wiggle it in there which i see the point but then i don't all right so yeah that's basically how it builds up right there very simple very straight to the point point. and you know it's one of those things you get your your little allen key right here i'm gonna just use the ones that they provided
All right, so I have that part done. We'll say, you see how your airflow is right here? It actually goes down at an angle into the atomizer. So try to make sure you get this guy down there as low as possible. Even like, I've had to like move it around a little bit, trying to like just push it down. And if you see how it sits in there, the air will scoop from underneath there and just catch it. At least in my experience, this has been the best way to use it. Let me see. We will move it down a little bit further. Just so we get like, we get it right where we need it for the airflow. There we go. At least for me, that's been the best positioning. It takes a little bit more. I wish they would have done some some uh, indentations right here. Uh, that way you could get your leads put in better. But it is what it is. All right, so, so with any of these atomizers, make sure you catch them as close as possible, as far back as you can get them. Because if not, you will have issues with the cap coming on and even a possible short, and you don't want none of that. You know what I mean? Alright, so that is it right there for the building portion. It's very simple. Uh, like with most 22 millimeter atomizers, you it, they, they aren't that complicated. They don't really require a hell of a whole lot. It's just putting it all together and making sure it works out for what you're looking for in a vape. You know what I mean? Alright, so... Uh, now we're going to just finish up the building portion here and then I'll take you guys up top and we'll do some pros and cons and all that kind of thing. So yeah, let me just finish this up. You guys will see it and speed it up time. But for now, we're just going to get this done and I'll take you guys up top. Catch you guys up there. Alrighty guys, so that was the atomizer that I'm showing off on this video. So what do you think? Very nice little build deck, right? Very simple-ish, not really the most simple of things. Trying to get that lead into that one slot tends to be kind of a pain in the ass, but once you get that going, the whole thing just falls into place and it's amazing. I'm still trying to figure out where, like, okay, when I was filming that last bit, I was trying to find... Like I found that like lowering the coil helped, but now I had to raise it up a little bit because I think I went too low and I'm still trying to find where that medium point is for it. So far, as long as you could see the coil through the airflow, you think you should be fine because I'm getting a lot better flavor here. Let me show you guys. Finally getting like a lot better flavor because when I had it higher up, it was a bit muted. And when I had to fire it low, it just felt like it was struggling a lot more than it should be. And right now, it seems to be working perfectly fine. But I'm still trying to find that spot. And I thought I had it, honestly, because I've had this thing for a couple of weeks now. I've been playing with coil placement and this and that. And it's just I thought I had it and it just apparently did not work out. So... Other than that, I mean, it's a flavor banger. I do find, like, if you're having a little bit of issues with the flavor, you just choke up the airflow a little bit right there. Let me see. Bring it around. Like, that's half airflow right there. And that seems to help it out a little bit. But it's one of those things of, like, you just got to play around with it and figure it out. Um, also, that plate 
piece that I was talking about with the um, when you're replacing the the five uh, the five ten pin in it, do be aware of that. Just in case you know if you're gonna like get one and try to switch out the squonk to standard or to solid state pin or back or whatever. You know, try to make sure you remember that that thing will pop out or else you're going to drop it and then you're going to be trying to, you're going to have to scatter looking for it and hopefully you didn't lose any parts or a grub screw or something because the grub screws are ridiculously tiny and even though it comes with an extra one, you, why lose one in the first place, you know, avoid making more work for yourself. Other than that, amazing all around, I'm enjoying it, I'm loving it and it makes me happy. So yeah, with all that being said, check out clownvapes.com. Go uh, check out Vaping with the Omis on Monday, 7 Central Standard, yeah, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Go check out Wolf Bite here on my channel. We're doing it live. Still not sure what day. We're bouncing around here on some ideas and stuff, but be on the lookout for that. Uh, and we are on Vape Radio. We are on at noon on Saturdays and 9 p.m. Central Standard Time on Sundays. So, yeah, you get a, like a double dose of that. And, you know, there's like many ways to catch the Wolf Bite show. Alrighty, so um, thank you for joining me, and as always, do your part for advocacy. The best advocate for you is you, and remember, as always, vape on, mix on. See, that mod. <laughs>